Hello there. I'm Voy. Uh, I'm gonna try and be doing this all in one take, so if I make any mistakes, uh, my apologies. So I'm going to try and uh, assist you with uh, setting up your full body, showing you how to do it. Um, so uh, first things foremost, uh, you'll want to make sure that you have your trackers connected. You would do this similarly to how you would for something like uh, VR Chat, where you do it through Steam VR. Uh, Chill Out VR has doesn't really have a like OS native OSC support, uh, and the mods don't seem to have a a option to OSC in full body. So you'll be doing your full body through Steam VR. Uh, from there, you'll uh want to make sure that all your devices are connected, whether it be uh uh slime VR trackers like my friend Tika uses or vibe trackers like what i'm using my uh co my setup combination is a uh quest with index controllers and vive 2.0 trackers if my hands go a bit funny it's funny dongle issues don't worry about it uh after you've made sure that all your devices are connected like so You'll want to be. You'll want to uh, open your uh, main menu. You can do this through either. You want to open your settings. You can do this through the quick menu by pushing settings right here. Funny that it didn't bring you to the settings. Anyway, you can also open and close that big green menu with your uh, right upper button. That would be the B button on the Oculus controllers and the right B button on the Index controllers. Then you'll want to navigate to settings. And from there, you'll want to navigate to General. Now, uh, you'll want to make sure that you have your height set up. This tends to be where a lot of the issues arise from, I think. Uh, so, make sure that you push, make sure that you face forward and push that auto calibrate button, or dial in the height of your choice. It doesn't have to be your actual height; it's the height that the game thinks you might be. So. Whatever setting makes the full body IK look best for you is what you generally want that to be. Going forward, uh, there's another section that you might want to uh, change things in, such as called the uh, IK section. Uh, IK calibration settings is uh, your full body calibration. These this these are the settings for calibrating. Uh, by default, I think they're this except maybe without these two enabled. So when I calibrate, which uh, you can do that by pushing recalibrate in the home tab here, or you can do that in the quick menu here, uh, you see that my avatar is kind of uh, in place and facing forward. And if I, and the idea is that you're supposed to maneuver around your body. You can see that my chest is kind of right there, and if I calibrate, you can kind of see what's going on. So, when you see players that have this chest jutting out thing, that's kind of what's going on. You can alleviate that by uh, pushing calibrate and stepping forward until it looks more or less how you want it. As you can see, it looks a little bit better. My tr real recommendation is... Uh, changing that to fully follow head, as that'll make it so your avatar's head avatar positions itself based on one of my trackers. Says there we go. It'll now move my avatar and rotate it based on where I am, and then you can click into position, and it's about more or less what I expect. Now, going in there, and continue to go in there, you might see, uh, I would recommend having these two settings on. Uh, obviously, a line with floor forces your avatar onto the floor. Uh, a calibration mirror makes it so, because I'm in the, I'm in the uh, hub world, so if I uh, recalibrate now, uh, you can see that I have a calibration mirror that spawns in front of me any time that I do any time that I want to do so. After that, uh, so universal calibration makes it so uh, when you calibrate, it will transfer that calibration to all other avatars. 
and save calibration saves your per avatar calibration. So if I switch into another avatar, foot get back here. Steam VR issues. So if I say switch into another avatar that I've already calibrated in, it will load the settings of that avatar when I calibrate it into it. it I will additionally note that it maintains that per set, like, cross-session. And what I mean by that is if you close the game and open it again, like, example, the game crashes. If you open it again, you don't have to recalibrate. It remembers your calibration. It's uh, it's not recommended for slime VR users. It's not generally recommended for slime VR users, as the slime VR user that I know, Tika, uh, they have had trouble with it because they they are always have they're always having to push that button anyway. So, Universal works a lot better for their use case. But the more you know, Revive Tracker users, it'll generally be all right. Okay. And now down here, there is the IK tracking settings. Uh, so the reason why this is here is the game can support multiple trackers per point. So you can have two or three hip trackers if you so want. Uh, the game can support uh, a maximum, and I believe this is the Steam VR maximum as well, up to 64 trackers. So you can have multiple trackers per point, so multiple feet multiple hip, multiple elbow, etc. So you need to tell the game which points you want tracked so that it knows what to look for. Me, I am just a hip, left foot, and right foot, one tracker each. So I just have hip, left foot, and right foot. There's no shoulder trackers as a the shoulders generally have a more limited amount of movement. Uh, we, there is uh, chest tracker support, but uh, I've heard that it still needs a little bit of work. Uh, elbow tracking is uh, a lot better than it used to be, and knee tracking is also a lot better than it used to be, or so I'm told. Maybe I'll know when I get my slime VRs. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I have. Then you have the solver settings. These are the uh, these are the settings that you can change at any moment, at any time, and it'll directly reflect because you don't have to recalibrate for these because these are just happening all the time. So you can say change the uh, spine relax so that uh, the spine can be more or less relaxed. It's generally recommended to have it lower. Like if I, I'm trying to get into some sort of position that makes the difference visible, but I'm not really seeing anything. Generally, I have it on two. Uh, use pitch yaw shoulders. If you have that off, yeah, you you want that on. You you want that on. <laughs> uh, plant feet is uh, only really for uh, desktop or is only really for desktop. It forces your feet to plant to the ground. So it's it makes my avatar act a like, little bit funky because it's trying to move me closer and closer to the ground. It's really only meant for desktop users, so it's not recommended to have that on tracker. There we go. Uh, pin hip to tracker. I'm not sure. I think it makes it uh move more closely to the hip. Like it forces the hip to be a bit closer. I generally have that on. Uh, straighten neck. Uh, will force the neck to be straightened. Uh, me. I have it off. A uh, pre-straightened spine will a uh, pre-straight will uh you know it's having a visual effect as you can see. A 
I think I like it when it's uh free. I think I like it more if it's uh I think I like it more without the pre straightening, honestly. I think I'll leave that off. Experimentation, folks. It's kind of what you have to do when you want to figure some of these out. But generally a lot of these settings are a lot of these settings are like generally what you might want. Uh this uh, basically just defines the max angles of your spine, so how far backwards and how far forwards it can go, as, and, as well as the neck. Again, it requires a little bit of tinkering to figure out what you would like. Uh, neck priority uh, will rotate the neck more or less, depending on... Yeah, neck bend priority, so how much priority the neck bending has over anything. I'm not really seeing a noticeable change. I have it at one because I think there I think I used to notice one. Uh straight spine angle. Uh I believe that's the angle in which the spine is considered straight or something. Let me uh let me dial it back and see. It doesn't seem to have very much of a visual effect on anything, as far as I can tell. I'm not exactly sure what it does, so I'll leave that on what I had it as. And then, uh, how much the straight spine is enforced. So if I... Yeah, I'm not really seeing any difference with that. I'll leave it at one. I'll leave it at what I had it as. Hmm. Seems to make it so my body doesn't snap very much. Hmm. Maybe we'll have it at five. Okay. And then tracking smoothing. Uh, so if you're using some sort of, like, uh, tracker smoothing software, like you would be for, say, VRChat, um, the game has its own built-in smoothing system. So uh, you can raise it up, and the tracking will be a little bit smoother, but it does introduce a little bit of latency. And what I mean by latency is if I crank it all the way up, It's sort of a visual way of demonstrating that. So I will probably have it at uh, zero because I like it when the latency is as minimal as it can be. And then you have a uh, running animation full body tracking. So you know you uh, you do the little runny runarounds when uh, when you're in full body. After all that is said and done, you can uh, push the recalibrate button, and boom. And I like to uh, double check that I have my feet facing forward, so that, yep. Obviously the IK is not exactly perfect at the moment. It does, however, work pretty good. hope you found this video a little bit helpful and I'm terrible at ending these things so bye bye